In this video, I will show you how you transfer your information from your iPhone, such as contacts, messages, pictures, to a Samsung device. And this is Right Stick. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up and let's find out. Now, I need to explain a few things as we go in this video. Now, if you guys see the Samsung phone, I have already done factory reset. And the reason why, because I want to use a smart switch application. Now, you can still use smart switch application after you sign into Google Play Store and download the application. But some Samsung phone, the Samsung switch doesn't appear on Google Play. And you have to go to Galaxy Store and download smart switch. And this could be hard for some people. I like to choose the easiest way to make it easy for you another thing about the pictures now if you have pictures on your iPhone and you currently use cloud your pictures saved on your iCloud I would prefer to download them to the phone and then do the transfer but if you have the pictures already saved on your iPhone the method we're gonna do you should have no problem now also you need to make sure that you have lightning to USB-C. It depends on your Samsung phone, but most of Samsung phone use a C type and we have lightning. This cable you can find in any iPhone and you can buy in any cell phone store and it shouldn't be expensive. Now since we have the Samsung, first step I would go click start and you must agree. And then make sure to connect to Wi-Fi. And you just need to go where it says it transfer information from one phone to another, which is basically the phone will open a smart switch application. And here it says copy apps and data. So go ahead and tap next. Use your old device. The phone will do a quick update. Now get started with the smart switch. Go ahead and allow. Now you need to choose as a Galaxy or iPhone. Now if you want to use Galaxy, it means you're switching from another Galaxy phone or Android. But we need to choose iPhone slash iPad. Now here you're going to get the instruction. You need to put the C-type on your Galaxy. And the other lightning cable goes to iPhone. And I'm not using the top of the line iPhone. I'm not using the top of the line Samsung. This is a Samsung Galaxy uh, A21. Just to show you this method, it should work. Now, right away, you're going to get message on the iPhone. You must hit trust. And then you need to go next. Samsung is searching for data. And here you can pick what data you want. It asks you uh, if you want to like call, contacts, messages, the last 30 days of messages. Now, if you want all of them, you just tap all messages. Apps, I don't think so you're going to get apps. The best thing after you finish the transfer, log into your Google Play and download the apps you want. In other words, you can select the one you want. And if you don't want, unselect it. Now, let's just go ahead and tap transfer. Now, you have to sign in. Now, if you don't have a Gmail account, once you tap sign in, it's going to ask you either you log in with your exist or you can create a new Gmail. It's not necessary to use the same email you have in your iPhone. You can either create a new one or sign in with the one you have or the existing account. Let me sign in with a Gmail account and we'll come back to you. Now, once you sign in with the Gmail account, the phone will ask you if you turn on backup or you don't. In my case, I don't, but if you tab back up, from now on, all the information will be synced to that Gmail account, which is a good thing to do. Now, agree. Now, let's just finish the setup. In this step, the phone will ask you if you want to transfer some application like Apple Music. Let's say you have Apple Music. If you want it, hit install. Once the transfer is finished, you should be able to see your Apple Music in case if you have a music or you have subscription, which is a nice thing. In my case, I don't want to do this. I'm going to unselect or tap on skip. 
Now the phone is moving everything from the old phone to the new one. You must keep the cable right now. Now it says your uh, Google account has been added. Now we're almost finished. We just have to accept. You can set fingerprint pattern if you want to add more security to the screen where you have lock screen with password, but I don't. And then if you want to set up Google Assistant, I will skip this and skip this. Now it will ask you to download some application like Microsoft Outlook, blah, blah, blah. Because this is only for educational purposes, I'm not willing to do this and go ahead and tab OK. There are a couple of applications like weather application I would prefer not. So let me unselect and tap next. You can sign up for Google account. You can do this later. We can skip this for right now. It asks you if you want buttons or gestures. I will choose button. Hit next. And then it asks you if you want a small or large icons. I will choose large. And then accept and finish now wait till the phone load everything and if you guys go to the notification bar here on the top you should be able to see smart switch application right there saying optimizing a transfer you must let the transfer optimized and complete and then we're gonna go check on the information like contacts messages just to see if everything has been uh, transferred. We have to allow two minutes and then we will come back. Now once the optimizing is complete, it will tell you that the transfer results and it's gonna show you how many pictures you have transferred, how many messages, contacts, etc. Go ahead and tab next. Now it asks you if you wanna get some information from iCloud data, then you need to use the same iCloud. So I'm not gonna do this in this video but something possible on Samsung phone if you want to do. Now the phone will download some application on Android and complete the setup. Now first let's go ahead and check the contacts. So we have the contacts right there. Go to iPhone, just make sure we have the right ones. We have similar contacts. And let me check the pictures. Go to the gallery on the Samsung and also go to photo in iPhone. So we should have the same pictures and let's also check the messages and we have two messages here and we have two messages here that means we have a transfer messages pictures and contacts and i believe that was it for that video now you can remove by the way the cable because we have done the transfer and if you find this video helpful you can subscribe and give me a thumbs up thank you so much for watching as always we'll talk to you in the next video